Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to find the slope if the graph of the line is given or if two points are given. So let's start. So first, we're going to learn how to find the slope if the graph of the line is given. So we have example number one here. Step A. Identify first the y-coordinates of the two points. So the y-coordinates are negative 4 and 3. So our y-coordinates are negative 4 and 3. Step B. Count the number of units vertically from negative 4 to 3. So we count it vertically just like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are 7 units. Step C. Identify first the x-coordinates of the two points. So this time we're going to find the x-coordinates which are negative 2 and 0. 0 and negative 2. So we have negative 2 and 0. Step D. Count the number of units horizontally from negative 2 to 0. So this time we count it uh, horizontally instead of vertically. So 1, 2. There are 2 units. Let's move on to the last step, which is step E, is to express the slope. So the slope is represented by an M. So all we have to do here is to look at the y-coordinate units, which is 7, and the x-coordinate unit, which is 2. So the y is, uh, all you have to remember is the y represents the numerator and the x represents the denominator. So our final answer is m equals 7 over 2. So we have a note here. Keep in mind that the slope is positive since the graph is increasing from left to right, as you see here. So it's increasing from left to right. Let's move on to example number 2. So next we have example number 2. Just do what we did earlier and you'll get it right. So step A, identify first the y-coordinates of the two points. So the y-coordinates here are 3 and 1. So 3 and 1 are our y-coordinates. Step B, count the number of units vertically from 3 to 1. So just like last time, count it vertically from 3 to 1. So 1, 2. Now this time, uh, it's negative 2 instead of 2, since 3 to 1 moves downward. So downwards, downward means negative, and upward means positive. Step C. Identify first the x-coordinates of the two points. So the x-coordinates here are 0 and 2. So those are our x-coordinates. Uh, step D, count the number of units horizontally from 0 to 2. So just like we did earlier, 0 to 2. 1, 2. So there are 2 units. Now let's move on to the final step, which is step E, express the slope. So like we did earlier, M represents the slope. Y represents the numerator, and X represents the denominator. So our answer, the final answer, so if we simplify this, our final answer is negative 1. So another note, the slope is negative since the graph is decreasing from left to right. So keep that in mind, as you see here, it is decreasing from left to right. So this time, we're going to learn how to find the slope if two points are given. So, let's see. Let A, which is 3, 4, and B, which is negative 2, negative 3, be points on the line. Find the slope of the line. So here are the steps. Get the difference of the y-coordinates. So first we find the y-coordinates, and those are 4 and negative 3. So 4 minus negative 3 is equal to 7. Next, step B, get the difference of the x-coordinates. So first we find the x-coordinates. Those are 3 and negative 2. 
So 3 minus negative 2 is equal to 5. Now step C is to express the slope. To express the slope, we're going to use this formula here, which is m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So we just replace that, so that is 4 minus negative 3 all over 3 minus negative 2. So if we simplify that, so if we simplify that, the final answer we will get is m is equal to 7 over 5. So as you can see here, we draw the graph, and since, uh, keep in mind that the numerator represents the rise, while the denominator represents the run. So our rise is 7, and our run is 5. So now I'm going to explain what rise and run is. So run is basically just going from left to right, or right to left, and rise is just going from up to down, or down to up. So, you can do uh, rise first or run first, so and in this case here we're doing run first, so since our denominator is 5, our run is also 5, so we just count the units from left to right 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. And we also uh, count the rise, which is 7, since the numerator is 7, so we rise 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that's your graph. Now let's move on to example number 4. So we have here example number 4. So let's see here. Let A, which is negative 1, 3, and B, which is 3, negative 1, be points on the line. Find the slope of the line. So steps here, step A, get the difference of the y-coordinates. So, just like we did before, let's get the y-coordinates here, which is 3 and negative 1. So, use this again. 3 minus negative 1, it becomes 3 plus 1, which equals 2, 4. Step B, get the difference of the x-coordinates. So, this time we find the x-coordinates. Uh, those are negative 1 and 3. So, uh, negative 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 4. Now, the last step, which is step C, express the slope. So, we use the same formula we used before, which is m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So, we replace it, we replace it, 3 minus negative 1 all over uh, minus uh, negative 1 minus 3. So, we simplify that, it becomes m is equal to 4 over negative 4, and if we simplify that even more, we get negative 1. So, if we draw a graph here, we're, we're going to do the same thing we did before, which is the rise and run. Now, for the denominator, this time it is negative 4. So, if the denominator is negative, you will have to run backwards, so as right to, we're going to have to run right to left, instead of running left to right. So we start here, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, we rise 4 times. So, again, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is your graph. And that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for watching, and thanks for listening. I hope you learned something new today, and stay safe.